Ash and Dina stopped by earlier this week to get a special preview. From the SPCA, and yes, the 26th annual Doggy Dash is coming up. You're looking at little Murphy right now. I'm going to introduce you to a couple of dogs available for adoption, by the way. We hope that they go to a great home. But the reason why we're at the SPCA today is because they've got their big annual fundraiser coming up, and we want you all to be able to go, enjoy, but also take the dogs and be safe about it and be smart about it. Because we know walking your dogs is a whole other thing when you've got 100 people next to you doing the same thing. So we have uh, Christy with us this morning first to talk more about Doggy Dash. What exactly is going to be happening on April 27th. Yes, yeah, so April 27th is the 26th annual Doggy Dash. We're expecting 5,000 people and their pets to William Lamb Park. It's a 2K, 5K walk and a Bark in the Park festival from 10 to 2. Okay. So tons of activities, very family friendly, not a race, just a walk. Get, getting the dogs out there. We'll actually have adoptable dogs out there too, so you okay. can find your new best friend there. Uh, uh, and uh, a lot of resources for you <laughs> and just Good old fun. So. I love that the pup over there was like, yeah, that's right, me. Yeah. Barked right on cue. Okay, we have Belinda with us as well this morning. So bringing out the dogs to Doggy Dash, it's so exciting, it's so fun, but you also want to make sure every dog's walking well, right? That's right. Yes. So today we're going to talk a little bit about how to get our dogs prepped for Doggy Dash. Okay. The first thing we want to talk about is the equipment they're on. So there's no equipment that's actually going to teach your dog how to walk on a loose leash. You have to do that. Yeah. One thing we want to stay away from are things like prong collars, pinch collars, um, um, things like electronic collars, those can cause unpleasant associations for dogs, and we want Doggy Dash to be a positive experience. Yes, yes. So instead, you can see our dogs here today are on flat collars and sensation harnesses. Um, any harness works, but that's a great place to kind of get started. Once you are um, harnessed up at home, you can start practicing by rewarding your dog when they're standing close to you. You can okay. see Dawn's doing that with Murphy right now, yep. Sarah's doing it with Viney. Oh, yeah, and then you can see, so when we're talking about a loose leash, you want to have a little bit of slack there in the leash, making sure that the dog knows, stand next to me, don't pull, don't tug, and don't walk too far behind. Yep, that's exactly right. Okay. Yeah, and it's good to practice this before we actually get out to Doggy Dash, because it's yeah. going to be so distracting, yeah. so overstimulating. <laughs> so I recommend we practice at home first, maybe in the living room, work your way up to the driveway, then the neighborhood, finally to Doggy Dash. Yes, yes. I love it so much. Okay, so you got to come out to Doggy Dash. Um, obviously, they are welcoming everyone and their pets to come out to William Land Park on the 27th, but I do want to introduce you to the three pups available for adoption real quickly. So who do you have, Christy? Yeah, so I have Brad Pitt. <laughs> yes, he's famous. He's a year and a half. Um, he is available for adoption. Okay. Super lovable. Uh -huh. um, lived with other dogs in his previous home. Okay. So, yep, he's ready for adoption. He's ready to go. Oh, my gosh. And the sweet, look how big for scale. Look how big the face is. He's got a big old head, but he's so sweet. Okay, finally, I want to also talk over here, too. Who do you have? This is Benny. He is an eight-year-old bat. Asset hound mix, uh, lived with dogs, cats, and kids, and completely trained, no sit, shake, lay down, uh, speak. Really loves to lay down because he's already kind of low to the ground. And then I just want to end on Murphy. Murphy's also a sweet pup available for adoption, a little cocker mix. Uh, had to have a little eye surgery, so he's got one great eye, right? That's right. Yeah, he's actually in foster care right okay. now, so he's recovering from his surgery, but once he's all healed, he'll be up for adoption. Okay, perfect. Okay, so coming up for adoption very soon. All right, SPCA, go help them out at the Doggy Dash April 27th, next Saturday, guys, and maybe take home a furry friend. Back to you. Yep, Jordan and I will be out there on the 27th. Oh, fun.